This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. This is a really easy and fast way to get your dishwasher working again when it won't drain. And when it won't drain, you'll see the tub is full of water. Sometimes it won't even start. You see lights blinking. A lot of times it's this air gap thing located up by the kitchen faucet that has a clog. And we're going to go over how to unclog it. So this is what the air gap looks like. Most dishwashers have these just pulled off the silver top. And we're going to be removing the uh, white plastic cap. And sometimes when you remove that, you'll find that there's a blockage right there, like maybe a little fish bone with some other material wrapped around it that's causing a clog in the drain system. And the dishwasher motor works to get rid of the water, but it can't leave because it gets stuck in that tube. So if you look in there and you don't see any clog at all, the next thing you could think of is trying to disconnect the dishwasher drain hose below the air gap. So we're gonna spin off this um, plastic net that's holding the air gap in position on the sink and we're gonna push the air gap down below the sink so that we can take the drain tube off of the air gap and put the drain tube directly into a bucket. And then we're going to turn on the dishwasher to see if we can force out whatever the obstruction is. Because sometimes the clog is right there in the air gap nearby my fingers. But sometimes it's below it, right where the uh, drain tube connects to the air gap. So I'm going to push it down underneath. That's just so I can remove that um, dishwasher drain tube a little bit easier. So the white tube is the one coming from the dishwasher. The black tube is going over to the garbage disposer. We can see that it's full of water. It's not draining. If you want to make it drain, you just press the, on this Bosch dishwasher, you press the start button for three seconds. And then when you close it, it'll drain. So I was able to remove the drain hose from the air gap. I have it in a bucket and I'm draining it. If you do this and you also shake that tube sometimes that can help to work loose whatever the obstruction is it might be a seed or something got caught in there and then i'll knock it out and you might want to do this a few times in a pot or or use a bucket and usually that'll get rid of the obstruction and you put it back together and your dishwasher will work fine again so hopefully that'll help you get yours going also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new apply button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.